Hey everyone, my name is Allison Cruiser and I work on the patient affairs team at Sarepta Therapeutics. And I'm excited to be with you today for another installment of our GT FAQ series, which is designed to answer your questions on the science of gene therapy. Today's question is, what types of diseases could gene therapy potentially treat? And the short answer is, potentially many different types of diseases. It's not actually about what the disease does, but it's what causes the disease to determine if it could be a good potential candidate for a gene therapy. So how do scientists think through this? First, scientists need to know whether or not a disease is genetic, meaning is it caused by a problem in a person's DNA? For example, diseases like Huntington's or Duchenne muscular dystrophy could be good potential candidates for a gene therapy because they're each caused by a problem or a mutation in a person's gene. To design a new gene therapy, scientists need to know whether or not it's a gene mutation that's causing the disease, and they need to be able to identify the gene that's mutated, and then figure out what is it about that gene mutation that causes disease. And when they have that information, they can determine whether or not gene therapy might be a good potential candidate treatment. For example, in some cases, a gene mutation could result in too little or no protein being made. And in that case, gene therapy could be a good potential treatment if it's able to transfer a new gene into the disease-affected cells to help restore protein expression. You could also have the opposite scenario where a gene mutation results in too much protein being made, and that's toxic for the cell. And in that case, you might be able to use gene therapy to help limit protein expression. So in summary, gene therapy could potentially treat many different types of diseases, from those that are rare to those that are more prevalent. And if you're interested in learning more, we encourage you to speak with a physician. And if you have more questions about the science of gene therapy, feel free to drop them in the comments here, or you can email us at advocacy at and we may ask your question in an upcoming installment of GTFAQ. Thanks for watching.